Growing up, Chris Burns was your typical hoops junkie. His walls were filled with posters, and his sneaker obsession grew and thrived. He always had a ball in his hands, and as his mom puts it, it was basketball 24-7. As he grew older, basketball became more than a game. It became his best friend, and one he desperately needed when it became evident he had a secret he wasn't ready to share. Voted Mr. New Hampshire his senior year in high school, Burns emerged as a star at Bryant University, leading the Bulldogs to the Division II National Championship game as a sophomore, and scoring 33 points against Syracuse his senior year. That's merely half his identity. His secret is that he's a gay man. The more he progressed in his career, still hiding, the more he felt torn between two worlds. This month, just weeks before Brian tips off its season against defending national champion Duke, Burns decided being true to himself was more valuable than his best friend, the game that helped him survive. There's going to be good, there's going to be bad. You've got to trust yourself and you've got to find that place where you know that no matter what, you're comfortable with who you are and that you feel like this decision is right and you know, that's where I'm at. Yet being true to himself also means being a lightning rod. He's the first men's coach in a top four sport to publicly come out as gay, and he's currently the only open coach in both men's and women's Division I basketball. I don't think this is going to be something that it is, there's going to be a record book for. I think it's important that I'll be the first, and I, and I take pride in that, but first, third, tenth, third, or hundredth, I think they're all going to have you know, a significant impact. I take that responsibility, but you know, hopefully that isn't something that matters. In a day and age when same-sex couples can marry legally, Burns is a pioneer in an arena where homophobic language is still prevalent and where being gay is viewed as far from normal, especially for a leader of young men. Burns revealed his long-held secret to Brian's players, coaches, and faculty. His two worlds have finally converged, and Burns is now not simply a basketball coach or a gay man. Finally, he's being himself. And that's a, that's that's what it's all about, right? Sports aren't different than anywhere else. This this veil that's there that in sports isn't, you know, it's not real. It's just perceived. It's not really about sports here. You know, it's about being in a, t in a team. And a team is anywhere. The tight knit community that we have here in, in, in our locker room and the people in there are what make me believe that this is right and you know we happen to be a basketball team sports no sports it's about people you know it's about the people that are around you and it's those opportunities to you know change attitudes whether it's sports or not